Good afternoon and welcome to IBMF VetNet webinars. My name is uh, Elvis Aldich and today VetNet is brought to you by Institute for Veterans and Military Families. As you know, IBMF has a portfolio of entrepreneurship programs helping veterans and their family members start and grow their business as well as transition and grow their start and grow their careers as well. IBMF is also heavily involved in cutting edge research and community work. If you would like to learn more about what IBMF do, please visit us at ivmf.syracuse.edu. But today for our American Corporate Partners ACP Mentoring Program, we have as a guest Eric. And as you know, IBMF, this is just one of the IBMF resource partners in mentorship because IBMF also works with uh, eMentor and uh, other mentorship programs as well. So today, Eric will give us more information and background on uh, ACP mentoring. Eric, I'm gonna kick it off to you. So introduce yourself and... Uh... Great, yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Eric Schlachter. I'm a Marine. I was in from uh, 2010 to 2016. I deployed one time to uh, Marja, Afghanistan in 2011. And um, as soon as I got out of college, I didn't really know what I was doing. Took the first job opportunity that came at me. Um, really unsure uh, what you know I wanted to do with my life, so I went into the military. And by the time I got out and I had to make that transition, I was kind of clueless. So I worked in corporate America for a little bit um, and found myself working as American Corporate Partners. I'd been here for a year. I truly believe in what the program has to offer, uh, and I'm really excited to talk to you about it today, and I uh, hope I can answer any questions that you might have about the program. Thank you, Eric. And um, Eric will share a presentation with us later on about more overview of uh, ACP. But today, let me just introduce you as well. One uh, Another guest that we have with us is uh, AJ Porkowski. He's uh, with the uh, IVMF Onward Opportunity Program here. AJ? Uh, thanks, Alex. So, uh, I'm a Pretty much. Okay, so Eric, do you want to kick off at your presentation? Let's do it. All right, let me share my screen.
All right, cool. So, uh, like I said, my name is Eric. Uh, I work for American Corporate Partners. Uh, we are a veteran mentoring program. Um, you can go to the next slide, Elvis. So we're a nonprofit. We're a 501c3. Um, our program is 100% free. It always will be, always has been. Um, and if you join the program, uh, you will not be expected to pay any sort of fee. Um, but we're, like I said, a national nonprofit organization. We're focused on helping our returning veterans. Uh, basically, anyone who's served post 9-11 uh, is eligible for our program. And we provide a one-on-one -on -one mentoring and networking uh, program for those uh, people who are looking to make that transition from the military to the corporate world. Next slide, sir. Uh, so we believe uh, here at ACP that the, the biggest issue facing our members is not unemployment, but it's underemployment. Um, and like I said, we uh, assist our veterans in their transition by offering a one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentoring program where they can work on career counseling, professional development, um, resume and interview building if they're looking to get into a specific kind of career or field. Um, that's how we uh, work on, you know, pairing the veteran with the mentor. So we'll go into that a little bit later. Next slide. In the future, is this the only webinar or? I wonder why I wasn't able to do. But if, uh, if something like this happens, is it best to call you and you send me? Uh, yes okay so the first thing is yeah get the webinar and then um the uh oh uh all right so just some history about acp we were launched in 2008 uh by a gentleman named sid goodfriend um and back then we started with six partnering companies um in uh we served about 300 veterans in about six different cities so since then, uh, fast forward like nine years, um, we've grown pretty rapidly. Uh, we've gotten our name out there to different installations, universities, a lot of word of mouth. Uh, to date, we have 2,850 active mentorships throughout the whole entire world because we uh, work with men and women who are deployed. Um, and now we partner with over 65 uh, Fortune 500 companies. Um, as of 2016, we just celebrated our 10,000th alumni, uh, and that means the way that we uh, distinguish an alumni is uh, someone who's been through the entire program for the year and who, someone who said that the program changed their life for the better. Um, and, you know, another great stat that we're very proud of is the fact that 98% of our veterans um, who make it through the program uh, would recommend ACP to a fellow veteran. Next slide. So this map right here, um, this gives a glimpse as to uh, you know where our veterans come from. So as you can see, uh, we're all over the map. Um, and again, we work with men and women who are deployed. So if, if someone's on a, on a tour right now and they're getting ready to come home, um, they apply to the program, we'll pair them with a mentor. So by the, by the time they get back and they wanna start their next career, um, they can do so. Next page. This is a great uh, slide right here. This is a list of uh, the companies that we partner with. As you can see, there's a ton of them, and uh, you know it comes from a wide variety. So just to highlight a few, uh, 21st Century Fox, uh, CBS, Caterpillar, uh, Fidelity, Energy Future Holdings, The Home Depot. Uh, we also work with a couple uh, DOD contractors like Lockheed, Northrop Grumman, um, a, a lot of different banks and, um, you know, UPS, Unilever, uh, Time Inc., Travelers. So depending on what it is the veteran is looking to do, um, we will pair them with a mentor from one of these companies in order for them to uh, make that transition a little bit smoother. Next slide. So a little bit more about the mentoring program. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, it's really catered towards the veteran. So the veteran is able to uh, cater the mentorship to fit whatever needs they have. So if they're looking, up, looking to work on the resume and interview skills, they can work on that. Um, if they're looking for a job, their mentor can help them with that. We're not a job placement program, uh, but it, 
good amount of our veterans that come into the program do find employment through either the mentors company or through outside companies during the process. It's a great program for career coaching. And uh, like I said earlier, we're a professional development program. So we really focus on getting the veteran ready to make that actual transition from the service to the corporate world. Next slide. So just uh, going, going over the mentorship a little bit more in detail. Um, again, it's free. I can't, uh, can't stress that enough. Everyone that I talk to always seems to ask me, you know, um, you know, what's the, uh, what, what's the underlier here? Like, you know, when am I going to have to pay money? It, it's always been free. It always will be. Um, these are just some extra, you know, tips on what you can do throughout the mentorship. You can learn about career opportunities. The resume and interview skills are huge. How do you translate the military skills from your experience in the service to the corporate world is another one that a lot of veterans work on with their mentor and then refining civilian career goals. Um, one of the biggest things that I think uh, is beneficial about ACP's mentoring program is the ability to network. Uh, today in, in this world that we live in, uh, you know, I've come to realize that it's not as much what you know, but who you know and being able to get your foot in the door certain places and building those connections. So I think uh, being able to work with uh, a mentor from one of these Fortune 500 companies is a great tool to have. Um, depending on how proactive the veteran is, the mentor will um, connect them to other people in the mentor's network and uh, they're able to meet endless amounts of people. Next slide, Elvis. Uh, so eligibility. Um, basically, if you've served post 9-11, you're eligible, eligible for the program. Um, we also uh, work with uh, men and women who don't meet the 180 days post 9-11 service, but who are injured while service, uh, serving or training. And then we also work with spouses as well um, of severely wounded post 9-11 veterans. Um, so next slide. If you're interested in the application process, if you're looking to uh, sign up with ACP, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can visit our website, www.acp-usa.org. Um, once you fill out the application, we will uh, reach out to you typically within the hour that you submit it and walk you through the next steps. The next steps is a 10 or 15 minute phone call with uh, either myself or one of my colleagues. And the phone call is meant to go over the program a little bit more in detail. And then we also turn the call over to the veteran to get them to get to know them better, see what they're looking to get out of our uh, program. Again, like I said, we match our veterans with mentors depending on what field the veteran's interested in. So we don't put all your information into a computer um, and, and just match you uh, based on what a computer says. We work here as a team, and we pride ourselves on being able to pair veterans with mentors who are going to be able to go the year-long distance and actually have a constructive uh, mentorship. Next slide. Here's our information. Uh, again, our website's www.acp-usa.org. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to um, reach out to me on LinkedIn. The info at acp-usa.org. Um, if you have any generic questions, we'll reach out to you that way as well. And then our phone number, 212-752-0700. We are here from 09 to uh, 1730, Monday through Friday. Uh, we're in New York City. We have one office. We do everything here. Um, so it's a universal landline. If you want to contact me directly, just ask for Eric, and I'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you, Eric. Uh, right now, let's uh, have some more questions. Uh, I would like to, if anybody out there have questions for Eric, please type them in a chat box on YouTube, or you know, if you're in a live sessions, please unmute yourself and uh, ask Eric. But I have a question for Eric as well. Uh, Eric, could you speak a little more about one-on-one -on -one customized uh, mentoring partnership? Sure. So. Let's say someone comes into the program, they apply for the program. Um, we do the onboarding process where we have the interview uh, and we talk to the veteran on the phone. Uh, once we have all your information, we work with our team here to pair you with a mentor. 
we don't actually pair the veteran with the mentor until we have the veteran and the mentors, um, you know, both of them agree that they want to work with one another. But once the mentorship starts, um, it's a year long, it's, it's one-on-one. -on -one. So, um, you're, you're free to work with other VSOs. You're wel you're, you're welcome to uh, continue serving or if you have a job or you're in school, um, it's, it's a very flexible, um, I wouldn't say hands off because we usually check in with both the veteran and the mentor here at ACP, um, just to make sure that they're connecting. We make sure that, um, they have things to talk about if they feel like they're running out of them. We also provide resources throughout the entire mentorship for the uh, veteran and the mentor to work on. Um, but it's, it's one-on-one -on -one and it's a great opportunity to, uh, work on whatever you need to work on. So, um, I'm trying to think of an example. I have, uh, couple mentorships that I oversee and the most recent one that I dealt with today was a gentleman who needed help with his uh, interview skills so his mentor brought him into the office and um, they did a mock interview and the mentor was able to um, have other people from their HR department sit in on the interview and just you know give uh, critiques and um, help the veteran out with what to expect when they actually walk into a, a corporation and have to do that kind of stuff. Thank you, Eric. I have a question from the YouTube from James. He's mm -hmm. asking to see how does your small business mentoring work? Sure. So we have a wide variety of mentors. Uh, thanks for the question, James. Um, and a lot of them have small business experience. So just because, uh, you know, we're called American Corporate Partners and we partner with all these Fortune 500 companies, the mentors are very diverse and a lot of them do have small business. So if you are interested in starting a small business, um, you know, we could certainly cater our search uh, to find you someone that, that could assist with that. Um, one, one important thing to note is that we uh, let the veteran know right up front that if they're interested in small business, the mentor isn't there to help them fund the small business if they're trying to start one, but they can certainly help them, uh, the veteran to, get connected to other people um, who might be able to assist with that. But we have a lot of vet veterans that come into our program that uh, are interested in smart starting a small business. We have another question from um, Brandon in a chat box. Uh, to begin off of that last question, do you have access to entrepreneurs in general? Yes, we do, Brandon. Um, I mean, again, the, the people that come into our program in terms of mentors, uh, they're usually a little bit more established. Um, I wouldn't say that they're C-suite, but um, you know they've been in the corporate world for some time now. Um, we do have some entrepreneurial uh, mentors that'd be able to speak to uh, your needs like that. And, and then at, at that point, it would just be a matter of trying to figure out what, what specific uh, field that you're looking to get into, and that's how we would make our decision on uh, who we'd pair you with. Uh, I have a question going off of that as well. Uh, what other support and um, resources are available for Brother Jays in the uh, ACP mentoring program? Sure. So like I said, Elvis, we uh, are, are going to be with the veteran and the mentor the entire year. Um, we have about 35 other individuals here in our office who oversee the 2,850 current active mentorships. We have libraries full of um, articles and uh, things for the veteran and the mentor to work on together. Um, we also have a, another great tool that I have yet to mention. It's called ACP Advisor Net. And what that is, it's open to um, not just post 9 11 veterans, but any veteran um, that's interested in um, you know, connecting with other veterans and um, you know, uh, connecting with uh, mentors as well. So you are um, able to go on to ACP AdvisorNet, uh, privately message mentors and ask them questions. You're able to post articles. You're able to post questions for the whole site to see. So I'll type that into the uh, message down here so you guys can check it out. But it's another great resource. Again, it's free as well. Um, all you have to do is create a profile and you can uh, start connecting. We have a, another question from uh, YouTube, Rochelle. She says, are there any specific programs for women veterans? Yes, we have a women's program here at ACP. 
Um, so if you are looking to get paired with a, a female mentor, uh, we would certainly cater to that. We are constantly um, doing our best to reach out to uh, females to join our program. Um, so if you came on board, uh, yes, we would absolutely uh, be able to find you a woman uh, volunteer mentor for sure. Thank you, Eric. I have a, an another question for me personally. Like, what happens after one year of mentorship? Can the veteran apply, reapply again, or um, how does that work? That's a great question, Elvis. Typically, it's only offered once. Um, if, if a veteran comes into our program, they make it through the year, they're more than welcome to stay in touch with their mentor, which we see happen a lot. Um, again, we have a, a, a really high percentage of, of men and women who come into the program and who get employment um, during the mentorship. So the need for a secondary mentorship is uh, you know, typically not needed. However, um, if a veteran goes through the program and they weren't completely satisfied, we would um, ultimately offer another mentorship. And uh, how many mentors can you connect one veteran to how many it's, mentors? Sure, it's one-on-one. -on -one. So it's gonna be, you know, if they come into the program, it's gonna be, uh, the veteran's gonna be paired with one mentor. But again, the networking aspect um, is endless, and um, the people that they're gonna meet through their mentor is going to be um, a great number. And then with the ACP advisor net, the link that I just put into the chat there, um, that has endless amounts of mentors, thousands of them that you can message privately if you have any questions about um, what it is they do, a specific career field, if you need help with someone looking at your resume, things like that. So we have a from AJ question as well. He says, uh, do veterans typically get paired up with other veterans? That's a great question. About 30% of our mentors are prior service, which obviously means that they've served in the military in some capacity. So AJ, if you were to come on board and we did your phone call and we're getting to know you better and we asked you what your preferences are for um, you know, your mentor and you say that you wanna work with someone who's been in the service, someone who's been through the transition and knows the struggles, uh, we would certainly do our best to uh, find you a prior service uh, mentor um, in that field that you're interested in. So yes, um, 100%, uh, we'd be able to hook you up with a prior service mentor. I actually have a couple of questions too. Um. <coughs> Sorry, I can't hear you, brother. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. So with uh, looking looking at it with my O2O VCTP hat on, uh, you know, we offer career uh, pathway training in certain uh, pathways. It sounds like you guys offer a very broad, uh, you know, spectrum of mentorship opportunities. Is there any uh, industries in particular that you see are more popular than others? Yeah. I mean, great question. Uh, it, it really depends. Uh, I'll just name a few that, that come to mind. Um, operations, logistics, general management, um, some sales, uh, a lot of small business. Um, so, you know, it, it's, that, that's, the, that's the whole thing. That's why we're here. The veteran comes into the program and some of them aren't sure what they want to do. So if, uh, you know, they're struggling to figure out how their skills are going to translate into the real world, um, that's something they can work on with their mentor. Um, yeah. Okay. And it, and it sounds like also the, the mentorship uh, goes beyond maybe just the, the professional as far as, you know, what their job's going to be, but more into the transition in general, you know, what to expect and, and, you know, the differences between life in the military and life as a civilian and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, you know, honestly, uh, when I was getting out, it, it was hard because, you know, you, you come from the military where that's all you know, and, and you still have the military jargon, and you're trying to figure out how to navigate this, un, you know, this foreign concept of corporate America where you have to be polite and dress up every day. I mean, there's some similarities, but that's another aspect that's uh, huge uh, that a mentor can help with in terms of what to expect when you get out to the quote-unquote real world, so...
Uh, also, too, you mentioned that uh, your services are free for veterans. Are your services free across the board or just for veterans? Uh, it, it, they're free across the board. So okay. the, the way that ACP operates is uh, we partner with all these Fortune 500 companies. And what they do is they provide us with money in order to operate and, and run the mentorship program. But they also provide us with volunteer mentors. So that's another great point that you bring up. Our mentors are volunteers. So they're doing it because they want to, not because their boss is saying, hey, sign up for this. Um, so that's, that's another huge perk is that they're here because they want to help uh, as opposed to doing it because they're forced to. Okay. Uh, Eric, I have a question from uh, James. Uh, he says, do you have any mentors who are service disabled and have small business track records? Uh, in terms of service disabled, we, we work with uh, men and women who, uh, you know, claim that they have uh, PTSD. Uh, if they were uh, injured uh, physically, absolutely. Um, so we have mentors that uh, put on their application that uh, they'd feel comfortable uh, with working with someone with PTSD or someone who's been injured. So, um, you know, if someone came to our program and, and disclosed that they had PTSD um, and, and we had a mentor who looked like a great fit but said that they didn't feel comfortable, we would not pair them. Um, we'd make sure that we did our homework and make sure that the mentor is um, good to go with someone who uh, suffers from that. Um, and then small business track records, yes, 100%. Uh, like I said earlier, you know, I wouldn't say that our mentors are all C-suite, but they've been in the game for a long time. A lot of them are very successful, um, you know, with small businesses and how to operate and start one and how to finance one. So, yes. Uh, Holly Reed has a question as well. For veterans that don't fall under the post 9-11, please discuss the qualifications for the program. I'm Viva's entrepreneur grad. So, Holly, is... Uh, did, did they did they not serve after 9/11? No. Okay. So the one-on-one -on -one mentorship program that we offer, um, the veteran who comes into the program has to have post 9/11 um, service. If they do not, they are welcome and uh, encouraged to join ACP Advisor Net. The link that I put in, that's open to everyone. And, you know, if you were to ask me, that's that's almost equivalent as to uh, the one on one mentorship program, just because there's literally thousands of uh, veterans and mentors on that site that you're able to connect with and ask questions to. Can you can you touch up a little more on uh, ACP Advisor Net since? Yeah, yeah, sure. So that's just uh, that's a, another platform for us. Um, and, and it's catered to the idea of, you know, being an online community for men and women in the service and who have been in the service before to be able to reach out to uh, mentors to help them uh, with whatever it is they need. So if, if you check out the site, um, you know, you'll be able to see different questions that are posted by veterans, uh, different articles. And the cool thing is that everyone can respond. So if you have a question about, you know, how do I make my resume look appealing to uh, recruiters? Um, people can chime in, both veterans and mentors, and give their advice. Um, a lot of the mentors that we have in our mentorship program are on ACP Advisor Net. Um, same with our veterans. Uh, another cool point that you can uh, check out on that site is you can search uh, for mentors and veterans uh, by zip code. So if you're looking to ever find employment nearby or, or find advice from mentors and, and fellow veterans, you can look them up uh, by zip code, which is really cool. Thank you, Eric. No problem. I have another question on eligibility too. Sure. Uh, for O2O VCTP, uh, Selective Reserve, National Guard, and, and Reservists are eligible for our program. Uh, do they also fall under eligibility for ACP? Great question. Yes, Reserve, National Guard, um, they're all good to go as long as they, uh, you know, went to boot camp. Um, they went to basic training after 9-11 with all the time in, in you know, basic and, and going to your MOS school and, and uh, all that jazz. And uh, yes, they'd be eligible. And the last question I have, too, is... Uh, 
it sounds like most of what you spoke to is about joining as some as a mentee. Um, how how would somebody also join as a mentor? Sure. So if you go on our website, www.acp-usa.org, you can see the different links um, and they will walk you through kind of what we look for in a mentor and what fields we're looking uh, for our mentors to be proficient in. Um, a lot of times we have veterans come through the program, have a great experience, they land a job and they want to give back and mentor a veteran as well. Um, so that's, a, that's certainly doable. Um, we love when that happens just because that veteran knows you know, kind of what it takes to get through a year long mentorship. Um, but yeah, if you, if you check out the site, you can see the specifics typically, uh, you know, we, we, t we take them from all over. So the spectrum is, is very big. Uh, we have veterans come into our program who have served four years and they're getting out. So those are the 22 year olds, the E twos, E threes, uh, your O ones. Um, and then we work with uh, very high ranking men and women as well. Uh, all the way up to 05s, 06s, 07s, and then, you know, we have our E8s, E9s. So, um, yeah, I mean, the spectrum for mentors is huge. We have younger, older, more experienced. Uh, you know, it's, it's really a wide variety. Uh, thank you, Eric. You're welcome. Eric, I have a, another question for you is um, in terms of, like, a veteran, and maybe he has a, for example, let's say he has a job and he's willing to like get a better job. Can he also come and join ACP mentoring? Like a, based on like maybe a scale, is it like entry for like transitioning military veterans or is it for like any even individuals who are very good, very well positioned for the jobs and they want to even move up further up? Do you, like Great do you question. service all the veterans? We service everyone. As, as long as you have that post 9-11 service, you're good to go. doesn't matter where you are. We work with men and women who are active duty, men and women who um, have jobs and they're looking to better their career. We work with student veterans. So if you're in school and you're unsure of what path to take once you get out and what to do with your degree, we work with you too. Um, we work with lifelong military members. So people who have been in for 20, 25, 30 years come into our program. Um, so. Yeah, great question. We work with everyone. Anyone who wants to develop their professional career, uh, we're here for you. Thank you, Eric. Everybody out there who is watching, if you have any questions, please um, type them in a YouTube chat box if you're live streaming. And if anyone in a session, you can type your question in the chat box or just unmute yourself and ask their question. So, Thank you, Eric, so much. Again, I will give it a few, uh, maybe a few couple of seconds and see if anybody has any question. Sure. I'm not getting any activities on uh, YouTube, so I think we're all good. I just want to say thank you again, uh, and you know I appreciate your time, you know being presenting here and talking about ACP. Anybody for out there, I, this session is being recorded. I will did if you did register for the, an Eventbrite for this session, you will get a. I will send out a recorded link to you as well. And if you have any further questions for Eric, you can always um, send him an email or reach out to him personally because I'll share his PowerPoint slide as well. Thanks for your time, guys. And uh, like, I, like Elvis just said, any, uh, any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm always posting things on LinkedIn. So, um, you know, I really believe in this program and uh, I hope you'll take advantage and I'm here for you if you need anything and thank you for your time today. Thank you guys. And our next webnet is for entrepreneurs out there who are looking to do government contracting. We're gonna have a on October nineteen, we're gonna have a, somebody present on government contracting. So stay tuned. Thank you again and uh thank you, Eric, so much. And uh everybody, I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. <laughs>